azithromycin. Now, if you have certain bacterial infection, you might be able to treat the infection with an antibiotic. Azithromycin is an antibiotic that belongs to macrolide class of antibiotics used to treat variety of bacterial infection. Azithromycin works by stopping bacteria from making important proteins it needs to grow. Hence, when you take azithromycin, it helps to prevent them from growing and spreading in your body. Additionally, Azithromycin has good tissue penetration and can accumulate in tissues, allowing sustained antimicrobial effects even after completion of the regimen. Now, let's look at the uses of azithromycin. Azithromycin is used to treat several types of infections such as number 1. Respiratory tract infection like community acquired pneumonia, acute bacterial synthesis. Number 2. Ear infection like otitis media which is middle ear infection. Number 3. Skin and soft tissue infection like uncomplicated skin and skin structure infection. Number 4. Sexually transmitted infection like chlamydia and gonorrhea, peyronitis disease. Number five, we have intestinal infection. So let's look at the mechanism action of azithromycin. Azithromycin inhibits bacterial protein synthesis by effect on ribosome translocation. Now let's look at how it functions. Number one, binding to ribosomes. Azithromycin binds to the 50S subunit of the bacterial ribosomes. This prevents the growth of bacteria by inhibiting protein synthesis, which is essential for bacterial growth. Number two, bacterial static effect. By preventing protein synthesis, azithromycin typically exhibits bacterial static effect, meaning it stops bacteria from growing. Number three, spectrum activity. Azithromycin is effective against a variety of gram-positive bacteria, such as Streptococcus pneumoniae and some gram-negative bacteria such as Haemophilia influenzae. Now, let's look at the dosage of azithromycin. The dosing of azithromycin varies based on the infection being treated. Now, let's start with the adults. Respiratory tract infection is 500 mg on the first day, followed by 250 mg once daily for four more days, giving you a total of 1500 mg. Chlamydia single dose of 1000 mg is enough and skin infection is often 500 mg on the first day and then 250 mg daily similar to RTI. In children, the dosage is typically based on weight and usually between 10 mg per kg for mild infection and 12 mg per kg for more severe infection, not exceeding a total daily dose of 500 mg. Side effects of azithromycin. Common side effects of azithromycin we have gastrointestinal issues, headache, dizziness, skin rash, liver enzyme abnormalities, and we have then less common but serious side effects like arrhythmiasis, clostridial difficile infection, allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis, angioedema.